In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we're continuing with volume 24, 530, 1928, and this is the third paragraph. So Jesus just said, basically, I, I'm looking for the peoples who will pray, those who pray the round of creation, those that pray the round of redemption, those that pray the Our Father, one with Louisa. So he says, this mission that I've given to Louisa is so great. This mission that I've entrusted to Louisa is so magnificent that um, when we are one with her, God want, what, what God wants to give, he says, will be given to the earth, this new and divine way of holiness, what we are asked for with insistence. And therefore, he says, one with Louisa, he says, it will be conceded more easily. So he says, does not the same happen in the low world if a king or a leader of a country must be elected? Are those who incite the people to cry out, we want such and such as king or such and such as leader of our country? This is what we see with the parties. You know, who who is who is crying out to God uh, uh, to have their leader. We want such and such as a king. We want such and such as a leader of our country. So if some want war, they make, make the people cry out, we want the war. That's what's happening today. People are, are being led to cry out, we want war. There are those that cry out, we, we want peace. See, there's now one important thing Jesus says that is done in a kingdom for which some do not resort to the people to make it cry out and even tumult, tumult so that as to give themselves a reason to say, it is the people that want it. I have a, what is it? I have a, um, uh, uh, I can't think of the word, but this is what the people want, a mandate. And this is what we're going to do. That's the human. Jesus says it happens with the human. What is our mandate as, as Catholics? Is, is it, may your kingdom come, may your will be done. And Jesus says, when all the people vote for this or all the people cry out, he says, it's going to happen. He says this, the people who today, when the person enters into election, this is what the people want. And many times, while the people says it wants something, it does not know what it wants, nor the good or the sad consequences that shall come from what you are wanting. If you want war, see, war is basically a blood sacrifice to Lucifer. How many young men, how many young men are, are wiped off the face of the earth? It's basically the evil one going after the firstborn. Uh, how, how many, how much blood on, on the battlefields? You know, how, how much, you know, how, how much blood uh, on, in the uh, abortion units? How much blood in the, in the uh, nursing homes? There's the, the sacrifices that are going on. He says that people don't know what it wants, in the, nor, nor the good or the sad consequences that shall come. So our, our Lord is showing us very clearly. He wants us to begin to live this abundant life. He wants us to begin to live this new and divine way of holiness. And he says, everything in the world is going to change. And um, the people who want human things um, suffer the consequences. If we want divine things, it's, it's heaven on earth. So he says, if they do this in the low world, much more do I, God, do in, in, in that which is coming. When I must give important things, when I, Jesus says, must give universal goods, I want entire peoples to ask me for them. 
So this is why when we pray in the divine will, we pray in the name of everyone and everything past, present, and future. This new and divine way of holiness brings everybody to God, brings everything to God. Uh, this new and divine way of holiness is so magnificent that Jesus is saying, as, as what God wants for the he bringing heaven to earth, he says, the, the most important thing, he says, this universal good, this Catholic good, this Catholic life, I want everyone to ask me for it. So when we pray in the divine will, we learn how to pray in the name of everyone and everything past, present, and future. We learn how to pray uh, to bring about this new and divine way of holiness. We, we begin to pray um, uh, the way Jesus and Mary prayed. Remember, at Calvary, they prayed in that crucifixion, in that suffering that they both went through, Jesus physically, Mary, Our Lady spiritually, uh, dying. Um, and Jesus said it was a miracle that she did not die. Um, but what, what God has planned is this new and divine way of holiness is going to bring uh, the he heaven to earth. So the universal things that are that are going to happen, Jesus says, I want to hear everybody asking me for this. And he says, and you, Louisa, must form these peoples. It's Louisa who's, a, who's the head of this, this, uh, this new and divine way of holiness. She's the firstborn. She's the newborn of the divine will. And he says, this is how it's done. First, he says, making all the knowledges about my divine will of my divine fiat known. So as Jesus breathes into Louisa, as Jesus talks to Louisa, it's this new and divine way of holiness is, is a new beginning for all of humanity. She put everything down on paper. And I, I had some people, I, they say, what, what, how do we do this? I said, read the 36 volumes. So they re read the, the 36 volumes and they said, well, I've read them. Now, now what should I do? And I went, now you got to study it and you got to put it into practice. And the study and the putting it into practice is eternal. It's forever. Every time you read, God expands your capacity to understand it. Every time you pray, God expands your capacity to understand it. And it's little by little that's happening. Some people have said to me, you know, that um, they've read the divine will and now they're living in it. And I go, yeah, until, until, as Jesus says, once you're worried, fearful, anxious, complaining, or negative, once you're doubting, once you're sinning, you're out of the divine will. Jesus says, worry, he says to the apostles, does worry add one moment to your life? And he says, of course it doesn't. Then he says, stop worrying. So what's happening that's, that's this new and divine way of holiness that's happening is, is a, a new beginning for all of humanity. And it's not anything that we have seen. To this point, we've we've learned a saintly way of doing the will of God, but living in the divine will, it's very far from us. And uh, I've had I haven't had somebody says I've been reading for two years and I'm living fully in the divine will. I'm in the fourth stage. Well, the fourth stage is is basically you have to die completely. He says that to Louisa. Louisa, when I'm finished with you, when you're filled, I'll take you to heaven. That was nine years after Jesus stopped uh, uh, speaking to Louisa, as she stopped writing uh, the divine will. Nine years later. And what was it? She put it into practice. She learned it. She studied it. She put it into practice. And, and, that, that, and that was 70 years, uh, Archbishop Piccieri said. 70 years in bed. So what God is asking of us is he's asking us to begin to live this abundant life, but not as you read it once or twice, it's, it's, I know, I know people that have read it numerous times and they're very far from understanding it yet. That it's why, because it's, it's the language of heaven. It's, it's how Jesus lived. It's how Mary lived that Louisa possessed this gift. So the, the first is, is to read and to study as Louisa made this known. If you have the book, of heaven, Jesus says, I, God, have given it to you. It doesn't matter who gave it to you. It doesn't matter if you bought it yourself. Jesus said, I planned this from the beginning of time. And as you read, as you study, as you put this into practice, 
It's a new and divine way of holiness that's very, very close. And he says, this is what he says to us as well. He says, are you ready to begin to live this, this new and divine way of holiness? Are you ready to begin to, to uh, live this true life of Jesus, this true life of Mary that was breathed into Louisa? What does that mean? It's Jesus gazing in our gazing, Mary gazing in our gazing, the new Adam and the new Eve. Our senses were made for God to, to let God reign in us. And who, who did this first? Jesus as the son of God, Mary as the mother of God, Theotokos. And they breathed it in now into the Louisa. She's the one that leads the charge, making known to us all the knowledges that Jesus breathed into her. And this is, this is the, as we begin. Okay, and he says, the second is by praying your round everywhere. Praying your round of creation, praying your round of redemption. Come divine will, come breathe in my breathing. Come divine will, come beat in my heart beating. Come divine will. And then how did Jesus do this? And that's what the rounds are. When we learn how to pray the rounds, it's Jesus in us. It's not, our, 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 Lord, our lady said to Louisa, and our Lord said to Louisa, it's, it's not you. It's, it's me in you that's doing this. It's, it's my mother in you that's doing this. So as we pray the Virgin Mary in the kingdom, as we pray the uh, 24 hours of the passion, uh, this new and divine way of holiness is very close. It's very, very close. And our God wants us to begin to live this abundant life. He wants us to begin to live this. So uh, this new and divine way of holiness is there. So first, reading the knowledges reading, studying, putting this into practice, becoming acquainted with the divine, okay? The divine way. Uh, the saints have taught us how to do things in a saintly way, a good and holy human way. That's, that's saintly, done in a human manner. And the saints are waiting for us, Jesus tells us, um, to repair and redo all that they have done because it wasn't done in the divine will, uh, living in the divine will, Excuse me. It was done by doing the divine will. And that's that's what God is asking of us to begin to live this abundant life is essential. To begin to live this abundant life is needed. It's, it's, it's more important than anything else. So our God is looking at us. And our God is saying to us, how, how are you doing this? Are, 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 you, are you reading the knowledges? Are you studying the knowledges? Are you praying your rounds? Are you praying the round of creation? Yeah. And, and if you haven't, go to luisapicara.me, download the rounds. Begin to pray the way Jesus prayed. Begin to pray the way Mary prayed. Uh, the way, this is how Adam prayed in the beginning. He didn't have the redemption because he didn't need to be redeemed at that time, at that point when he was in the garden, pr praying the rounds, uh, um, the round of uh, finding the love of God in all created things and giving it back to God. What, what, when he fell, we needed a redeemer. We needed the Messiah. So when Jesus came to earth, when Mary came to earth, they began to lead and guide. What did the apostles? Now the apostles were filled with the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. And then what? Then they began to learn how to pray uh, that by doing the will of God, how to become a saint. This, this, these flames of, of love above their head, their heads, it's, it, it's, it's a sign of what's coming. This fire from heaven that's coming from symbolized by the sacred heart of Jesus, the immaculate heart of Mary, this fire that's going to come upon earth, this new and divine way of holiness is the greatest gift. It's the gift of gifts. It's the prodigy of prodigies. Our Lord loves us so much that he needs us to cooperate. So he says, look it. Read, study, put this into practice. Second, pray, learn how to pray the rounds. Go, go around everywhere and everything in creation. Move heaven and earth to ask for the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. That's what Jesus, that's Jesus's life. That's Mary's life. It's not just redemption. He said, I rose from the dead so that humanity would rise from the death of their human will. This is what God is offering to us. This is what God is, is asking us to do. This new and divine way of holiness that John Paul II prophesied is here. And all that he's asking is, get into this. 
<laughs> read, read, study, put this into practice. Pray your rounds. Learn how to pray the rounds of creation. Learn how to pray the rounds of redemption. Don't say you're going to do your rounds. Do, do what Jesus did. Do what Mary did. That's what Louisa did. She, she echoed the prayers of Jesus, the prayers of Mary. She learned from Jesus and Mary. This is why we have been given the book of heaven, to, to learn from the king and the queen of heaven and earth, to begin to, to live this abundant life, to live this Catholic life, to live this universal life. It's a glorious time to be alive. There's a lot of things that are coming, a lot of things that are going to happen. And Jesus is asking us to begin to live this abundant life. He needs us to do this. And um, how great a time this is, how amazing this time is, how, how we are going to thank God for all eternity that he has created us, predestined us to live at this time, to witness what he's going to do. So may the blood that flowed upon the wood of this cross free us from our human will, that we live in God's holy divine will. We pray for divine healing. We pray for all our loved ones, uh, our family, our friends, our neighbors, that everyone become divinely healed. And we pray this prayer in the name of Jesus under the mantle of Mary through the intercession of Louisa. We pray this prayer that become, it will become God's command in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.